Parenthood supporters are in an uproar over a hearing they think was a hit job, with Republican Congress members repeatedly interrupting and attacking the group's president, Cecile Richards. And no one has drawn more anger than committee chairman Jason Chaffetz. But you don't need federal dollars in order to do this. In a key moment, the congressman from Utah produced a chart seemingly showing a sharp reduction in cancer screenings and a sharp rise in abortions based on Planned Parenthood's own accounting. I, That's what's going is, on this, your organization. This, this, is a, this is a slide that has never been shown to me before. I'm happy to look at it, and uh, but number, it absolutely does not reflect what's happening at Planned Parenthood. You're going to deny that if we take those I'm numbers deny out of your report? Moments later, Richards did indeed deny it, emphatically. Oh. My Excuse time me, my loggers are informing me that the source of this is actually Americans United for Life, which is an anti-abortion group, so I would check your source. Then we will get to the, to the bottom of the truth of that. The truth is, while Chaffetz's office stands by the numbers, the chart is misleading, suggesting more abortions than cancer screenings at Planned Parenthood in 2013, when cancer screenings actually outnumbered abortions almost three to one. Still, Republicans landed some other blows, pointing out that Planned Parenthood, far from scraping for cash, had a $127 million surplus last year, that the group's political action committee portrays Planned Parenthood as nonpartisan. And yet in 2014, 100% of the contributions went to Democrats. And that Richards is paid well for a nonprofit boss. Actually, my annual compensation is $520,000 a year. The outrage from Planned Parenthood is still reverberating. What I thought we saw yesterday from the Republican majority was evidence that they don't understand women. They certainly don't understand women's health.